Good morning children. Welcome back to our social class. Today we are going to learn about all the eight planets in detail. The first and foremost planet is Mercury in the solar system. And this Mercury, it is very close to the sun. As it is very close to the sun, it is very hot and life does not exist on this Mercury. And all the planets, most of the planets, they are named after the Roman gods or the Greek gods. So Mercury is known as the Roman god of messenger. As you all know, all the planets, they move around the sun. Even Mercury also move around the sun. It takes 88 days to complete one complete round around the sun. The second planet is Venus. Venus is the second planet in the solar system and it is the nearest, it is a neighbor of the earth. And this Venus, it is also known as the morning star or evening star because it is the brightest planet. It is the brightest planet and the it is named as the Roman god of love and beauty. And this Venus, it takes 225 days to complete one revolution. It takes 225 days to complete one revolution around the sun. The third planet in the solar system is the earth. And the earth is the only planet that supports the life. As you all know children, we live on the planet earth. And the earth made the life possible because of the air, water, land and the sunlight on it. And this earth is surrounded by a layer of air. That layer of air is known as atmosphere. The layer of air that surrounds the earth is known as the atmosphere. And this earth, it takes... 365 one fourth days to complete one revolution around the sun. As Venus is the neighbor of the earth and mostly Venus and earth both have some similar features, it, the Venus is known as the earth's sister. The fourth planet in the solar system is Mars. The Mars planet, it is reddish in color and is also known as the red planet. And it is known as the Roman God of War. It is known as the Roman God of War. And recently it was discovered that the planet Mars has water in the form of ice. And the scientists are trying to discover whether life could be possible now or near future. And this Mars, it takes 687 days to complete one revolution around the sun. It takes 687 days to complete one revolution around the sun. The fifth planet is the Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It is the fifth planet in the solar system and it is the largest planet in the solar system. It is a, a it is a ball of gases, giant ball of gases and its diameter, the Jupiter's diameter is 11 times bigger than the earth. 11 times bigger than the earth and this Jupiter it is known as the king of the Roman gods. Jupiter is known as the king of the Roman gods and it takes 12 years to complete one revolution around the sun. The sixth planet from the sun in the solar system is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet and this planet has rings around it. And these rings are formed by the eyes and the dust. So it is also known as the ringed planet and is the second largest planet in the solar system. And the name for the Saturn is the Roman god of agriculture. It is the Roman god of agriculture. And this Saturn, it takes 29 years, 29.46 years to complete one revolution around the sun. 
the seventh planet in the solar system is Uranus. It is the seventh planet and third largest planet in the solar system. This Uranus, as it is very far away from the sun, it is called as well as it is known as the blue planet. And this Uranus, it takes 84 years to complete one revolution around the sun. It takes 84 years to complete one revolution around the sun. And it is known as, this Uranus is known as the ancient Greek king of gods. It is known as ancient Greek king of gods. And the last eighth planet in the solar system, it is Neptune. It is Neptune and it is eighth planet as well as the fourth largest planet of the solar system and this planet it takes nearly 165 years to complete one revolution around the sun it takes 165 years and it is named as the roman uh, god of the sea it is named after the roman god of the sea children we have learned these eight planets now I would like to ask you about one thing. What is this children? Yeah, it is moon. Where do you see moon? In the sky. At what time? During the night time. This moon, it is also known as satellite. It is also known as satellite. And what is this satellite does? The satellite, it is a natural or artificial body that moves around earth or the other planet the satellite it moves around the earth or the other planets and these satellites can be artificial also the natural satellites are known as the moons whereas the artificial satellites those are the objects which are sent into the space from the, where they send the signals and it helps in the communication through internet, the telephone which we are using, the mobiles and the weather forecasting which we are re receiving, the television, the radio signals, everything is possible because of the satellites. And children, today we are going to learn about the number of moons that move around each planet. Here Mercury. Mercury doesn't have any moon. Venus also doesn't have any moons in the solar system. Coming to the earth it has only one moon and Mars has two moons. The Jupiter has the largest number of moons. It is 79. Saturn. Saturn has 62 moons. Uranus. Uranus has 27 moons. Neptune. Neptune has 14 moons. So children, these are the number of moons which revolve around the different planets. And coming to the earth children, I have said you about atmosphere. What is atmosphere? The layer of air that surrounds the earth is known as atmosphere. And the region beyond the atmosphere, it is known as space. And the people who travel to space, they are known as the astronauts. And the vehicle which they use to go into the space, it is known as the spacecraft. And Mrs. Mr. Rakesh Sharma was the first person to travel to space from India. And we have another two women, Sunita Williams and also um, Kalpana Chawla. These two are the two women who have traveled to the space. And today we are going to learn about one more term which is, which is meteoroid. This meteoroid, it is a piece of stone like or metal like scattered remain that travel in the outer space. We see children the falling stars in the space. Those falling stars, they are known as the meteors and planetoids. This meteoroid, satellite, planet are all are the members of the solar system. The planetoid, it is also known as asteroid and it is a small celestial body. What is a celestial body? A natural body which is found in the universe. 
So, it is a celestial body made of rock or metal that moves around the sun. This planetoid or asteroid, it is also known as a minor planet and they move around the sun. Whereas, these meteoroids, they travel in the space. Coming to the comets, we see the tailed stars in the sky children. These tailed stars, they are known as the comets. And these tailed stars, they are made up of the ice and the dust. They are made up of ice and dust. Children, we have learnt about the moons. Yes? So, the reason why we have the waves and tides is the gravitational force of the moon and the sun. Because of the moon only, we are having the waves and the tides. And children, I hope you have understood all the concepts and you have enjoyed the class. And we will be um, learning more about the social subject in the coming classes. Thank you.